Michelle Obama opened up in a new podcast about how she sobbed shortly after leaving then-President Donald Trump's inauguration, as the emotions of leaving their family's home after eight years and resentment over Trump taking office overcame her. When those doors shut, I cried for 30 minutes straight, uncontrollable sobbing, because that's how much we were holding it together for eight years, Obama said, referring to her final trip aboard the presidential airplane. Obama's experience was recently made public in a clip from her, The Light Podcast, which debuted on Audible on Tuesday. The former First Lady's third book, The Light We Carry, which reflects on how she has dealt with relationships, self-doubt, and anxiety during uncertain times, is the source of the podcast audio. It includes conversations from her promotional and discussion visits to six cities with A-list moderators like Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, David Letterman, and Conan O'Brien. That day it was so emotional after the inauguration and we are aware of whose inauguration we attended. Obama said, we were leaving the house we had lived in for eight years, the only house our kids had ever known. They remembered Chicago, but the White House was where they had spent the most time. We were thus saying our goodbyes to the staff and everyone who had contributed to their upbringing. Obama acknowledged that although she had to hold it together, she wasn't in a good mood. There were tears in that feeling. Then to stand there and see the complete opposite of what we stood for displayed there was no diversity, no color, and no representation of America as a whole, said Obama. She also made fun of her late husband's successor over how many people attended his inauguration, which has long been a source of contention for the Trump administration, which has falsely claimed the turnout was the highest ever. You take off on your final flight, flying over the Capitol, which was not particularly crowded. We saw it, she said, to the audience's laughter. Obama expressed her hope that the podcast will encourage listeners to share your own light, while promoting it on Twitter on Monday. The former first lady has provided additional details about her emotional state on that day in January 2017, over the years since leaving the White House, including the fact that she stopped even trying to smile during Trump's inauguration. A lot was going on that day, she said in 2018, but as she said goodbye to the White House, one thought was crystal clear, by Felicia.